This is a um, switch caliper design. It's made to be changed very quickly in the field. Um, the only tool you need is just a five millimeter hex. It's actually, I bought this a DTA torque wrench. Mm -hmm. oh, let me focus, okay. Comes with a five millimeter hex and it's already calibrated for um, I think 70 inch pounds. Okay, so to disassemble this, it's um this back plate comes off without any tools. There's a button down here. You're just gonna push the button in, pop it down, and it kind of comes off just like a camcord battery. So and to, to put it back in, you just put it in and I'll slap it up. So tool toolless on that. This is a little spacer here. This is for the um, 308 caliper cartridges. It shortens up the bolt throw. You won't use this for your 308, I mean your 338s. And then your your bolt comes out just like that, real easy. And that is an ambidextrous magazine release. Yeah, it has an ambi mag release. There's one here and there's one here. The safety is also ambidextrous, so can be safety can be manipulated left or right hand. Alright, well since we have the butt plate out, might as well do a caliber conversion. You know, I've actually never done this before, so this is my first time. So that torques it actually? Is that a torque wrench? It is a torque wrench, but right now I'm just using it to light to loosen. So four there and on this side has one, and this is, there's no torque on this, it's just a lock. Mm -hmm. So at 180 degrees. And now, one comes out. Whoa. So there's your 22 inch 308. We'll just go to a 6.5, that's all I got right now. That's it there. So I'm going to throw the bolt back in, from what I've read about and seen on videos, this is supposed to headspace the bolt to the action. And then you just torque it down, huh? Yeah. And you can use the same bolt for that? Same bolt, because yeah, this is a 308 to a 6.5, so, so lock it. And then this just Oops. for being here first time. That was the first time I've ever done that. You made it look pretty simple, you know. Oh, that looks good, man. You're way too close to me. So that's with the 26 inch barrel. So now you're looking at a little longer. Now you're looking at about the size of a 20 inch AR. Well, that's 26 inches though. 26 inches. Crazy. Still looks like an AR. That is pretty sick. How is the cheek weld on that, you know? The cheek weld for me is actually perfect. I don't need a cheek riser. Um, the guys at DTA actually designed this not to have a cheek riser. And from what I have read and stuff they were pretty reluctant and didn't want to make one because it's just added parts that he felt was not needed um, if you really need to you know get a different cheek weld you could always just get a different mount here either a different MOA or a different height mount you know Night Force makes a a couple different ones and you know yeah, but 
I heard the Department of Defense wouldn't give them a contract. Yeah, some some kind of contract issues. I don't know who who, but um, special forces. Some kind of special that, forces. You know? That that was one of their requirements if if they're gonna get any kind of contract. So they added in uh, adjustable cheek cheek rest on the newer version. Yeah, and plus a lot of customers were crying for it too. You know, not everyone has the same size face, so. And um, this one is actually milled out to accept the adjustable cheek rest. I took the skins off just to see if I got one that was milled out. So this one can be retrofitted without having to send it back to be milled to DTA. I could just buy it and I, I would probably come with a new skin for this side and the, and the, the um, adjustable cheek rest also. So I don't know if I'm going to end up getting that. The only thing I really want yeah, I is would. probably the modular handguard because you know that's a lot of quad rail that you are really not going to use so yeah. I'd rather have one where I could put the Picatinny sections where I want that would cut the weight down I'm sure by several ounces yeah yeah guaranteed and I don't know how this butt pad is kind of hard so for 338 you might want to get that softer one but or get it we'll see how this one works first yeah just put something I don't plan on shooting hundreds of rounds of 338 in any way. I can't afford to do that, so. Yeah, it's pretty expensive nowadays. Alright, sweet.